Okay, I know you finished your behavior pack and you're excited to test it. So stick with me for these final, very important steps so we can get our behavior pack packaged up and test it out. Do you remember where you decided to save your behavior pack? Let's go open up that folder. I put a shortcut to the folder on my desktop, so I'm able to open it up just by double clicking from the desktop. And then I have my behavior pack folder, which I'm gonna double click on. And now I could see the behavior pack that I was working on. I'm going to assume you follow the steps from the previous instructions where you extracted the template behavior into its own folder, and then you modified the manifest.json file to make it unique, and then you change some of the behaviors to make your own custom behavior pack. The next thing we need to do is remove any of the unchanged data. This is important because Minecraft can have multiple behavior packs installed. So if we include all of the behaviors from vanilla Minecraft in here, then we'll override anyone else's behaviors on their custom behavior packs. So what we need to do is make sure that only the behaviors that we customized are included in our behavior pack. An easy way to do that is to go to the folder and click on the date modified header to sort all of the files by the date they were modified. So if I click on that with the arrow pointing down, it has the most recent one at the top. So that has the chicken file, but all the other ones are essentially unchanged because they all have the same date. So what I'm gonna do is show you how to select all of those. So we click on the first one at the top, click on the first file at the top, and then scroll down to the bottom, and then click the very last one. And then you can hit delete. Okay, so I deleted all those except for the chicken.json file. The next thing we do is go to the loot tables. Remember we did change a loot table in the entities folder. So let's go in there, do the date modified. You can see the spider.json is the loot table that we modified. So I click the next one down. All of those are unchanged. Hold shift and click to select them all and then hit delete. Now I didn't make any changes to these other folders here so we're gonna get rid of those as well. So I click on chests and then hit delete. Click on equipment, hit delete. Gameplay, delete empty.json, delete. So the only thing in this is the spider JSON loot table that I modified. The villager trading, we did not make any changes there, so we'll delete that as well. And so now we have our very own custom behavior pack that'll work nice with all other behavior packs. So let's proceed to packaging it up so we could share it with the world.